Coach Painter, let's start with this. Your team shows up on the three line. I know the last couple of weeks the experts were saying between a three and a four seed. Did you think a three was fair? Well, you, you don't know going into the tournament. You know, you hear what everybody says. and um, But obviously, you know, you'll, you'll take a three. You know, when you start off your season six and five, for someone to say that, you know, you'd be a three seed at the end of the year going to the tournament, I think obviously you would take that. You know, interesting uh, little plot to this one. Your team actually played Old Dominion in the state of Connecticut three years ago. Right. Yeah, it was, a, it was a good tournament for us. You know, we were just kind of starting off and, and building some confidence and be able to beat Old Dominion in the first game and be able to beat a really good uh, Florida team in that same tournament. So now to go back there and, and be able to play in Hartford, Connecticut, a um, little surreal. Um, obviously, they got a lot of different players. We have different players. Our freshmen, uh, Klein and uh, Grady Eifert, um, were obviously on that team, but that's it. All right, so that was three years ago. What about this year's Old Dominion team? Do you know much about them at this point? I have no idea. Obviously, I saw the highlights the um, other day, and, uh, uh, you know, Coach Jones is a very good coach, and um, they've, they've worked very hard there, and obviously had a very emotional game, and um, for them to be able to get into the tournament and play, and we understand how these games go. You know, the numbers really don't mean anything. Everybody earns their way in there, and we know Old Dominion is going to be a tough out. Finally, your team did lose two of its final three games. Now, granted, the two losses came to the same team in Minnesota. Yeah. But with that in mind, do you feel like your team's trending the right direction, playing their best basketball, heading into, uh, into this tournament? Well, yeah, I think any time you, you, know, you play um, in, in conference, you, you're going to see a lot of the same. And it, it's hard. It's hard at the beginning of the year. It's hard at the end of the year. I think what kind of holds true for our team is being able to play a 20-game conference season and win 16 of those games. You know, we held serve at home. We were 6-4 and four on the road. Obviously, we had a tough loss um, against Minnesota. Um, but I thought we earned a lot of what we got this year. And that's what we just got to keep doing. We just got to keep playing hard. And um, I think doing the little things, when you come down to possession games and you win them, you don't really think, think like that a lot. But when you lose those, you definitely do. Coach Painter, thank you, and uh, good luck in Connecticut. All right, thank you. Carson Edwards, let's start with this. There was much to be made during the Big Ten tournament that you maybe were not at 100% health-wise. Mm -hmm. You've had a couple of days rest since that Big Ten tournament. How are you feeling now? Uh, I mean, I'm feeling fine. I'm still just getting treatment along with the rest of the team. All, everybody's taking these days off to get treatment and trying to get back healthy, so we'll be ready for the tournament. There is always uh, uh, differing opinions on if you lose early in your t conference tournament, maybe it's better for the rest on the body. Do you feel like maybe your club could have used a couple of extra days rest here over this past weekend? Um, yeah, I think we could have. Uh, I say personally for me as well. But, yeah, that was kind of the thing. You know, I hate losing. But once that kind of came down to it and just kind of looked at it as like another opportunity for me to get some rest and get back healthy. What about the fact you guys are a three seed? Is When this day began, did you think your team would, would show up on the three line? Um, honestly, I, f I felt like we would have. I mean, I really don't follow it too well on like what seed we would possibly be and everything, but I felt three or four was in that range for us. Old Dominion, I know it's very early in the process. Do you know anything about those guys, or when does the scouting report begin on uh, getting ready for that first round game? Uh, I don't know too much. I know they're a good team, though, especially being in the tournament and looking at the record and stuff. I know they're a good team, but I don't know too much about them, but we'll find out tomorrow, so it's going to start soon. Carson, thanks for the time and good luck in the tournament. Yes, sir. Thank you. Here, Grady Eifert, let's start with this question. Do you feel like your team is playing its best basketball here as you head into the NCAA tournament? Now, I know this is coming off of a loss in the Big Ten tournament. Do you feel like, though, you're headed the right direction? Yeah, I mean, after a loss, you kind of go back and look at some of the things we, we didn't do well in last game. But, I mean, coming down the stretch, we've been able to win, you know, at Northwestern and um, get a share of the Big Ten championship regular season. So, um yeah, I mean, I think each each loss we've had this year, we've been able to learn from it, and, uh, you know, I think we'll continue to do that. You guys are a three seed in the South. Do you feel like the three seed was fair? Is that where you thought you would show up on the seed line when the when the, this uh, selection show began earlier in the evening? Yeah, I thought we'd be at a three or four seed and, um, you know, excited to be at the three seed. Um, I think just early on we played a tough non-conference, and, you know, we stumbled a little bit early, but – uh, we were able to get it going in conference play and uh, beat some really good teams. So, Playing in as tough and a talented of a conference has the Big Ten. Do you feel like that gives you a leg up going into NCAA tournament play against teams from out of other conferences? Yeah, I, I mean, each night uh, in the Big Ten it's tough. Uh, no matter if you're at home or you're on the road. Um, from top to bottom, it's a great conference. And I think we had the most teams in this year. I think it was eight. And it uh, just shows you, you know, how, how tough a conference it is, and it definitely gets you ready for, you know, times like this in March. Grady Eifert, thank you, and good luck in the tournament. Thank you. Brian Klein, thanks for the time. The last two seasons, your club has made it to the Sweet 16.
What will it take to make it three years in a row for your team to get out of the first weekend of NCAA tournament play? Um, obviously, you know, we, we got a lot of energy. Um, but, you know, we're, we're obviously focused on, uh, on Old Dominion for the first game. You know, they, they earned their way in here, and we're excited. Old Dominion, interesting for you. You played against them when you were a freshman in the state of Connecticut uh, in an early season tournament. Do you remember much about that game? Yeah, um, I, I know that they had a, a couple of really good guards. Um, I was obviously a lot younger. <laughs> you know, I wasn't um, as, uh, as big as I am now. Um, I, I really didn't have, you know, a lot of business being in those games. Those guys are tough, but yeah. Um, you know, excited to get back to Harvard. All right, so with that, what about the 2018-2019 version of Old Dominion? Do you, do you know much about them at this point? Um, I do not, uh, but, you know, I'm obviously excited to watch them film, and, you know, um, it, it's, it's just a really good environment in here right now. What about the excitement for you as a senior, your, your final go-round in the NCAA tournament? Must be exciting for you, I would think. Absolutely, you know, we're, we're going to try to, you know, obviously it being my last year, uh, obviously try to make it the best. Ryan, thanks for the time and good luck. Absolutely, thank you.